G'day everyone, it's me, the anti theocrat back with another one. Before I go into the main content, uh, it's a quick sales pitch. It's the only one you're getting, so enjoy it. Below these videos, I do attach all links to the information if there are links to be had. Uh, I also archive all of the information if that's possible. I also supply links to other platforms for my content and uh, how to support me if you wish to do so. That'd be nice, but no requirement. That's it. That's my intro. That's my sales pitch. It's all I've got. It's all you're ever going to get. And now, on with the show. G'day everyone. Hopefully we can keep this to being another short one. Um, I just came across some hypocrisy that made me laugh and I thought I'd share it. Um, I don't normally watch the SJW fails types of things. I watched a few of them a couple of years back. But it's just a bit tedious. I see a lot of it through other feeds and through my news and what have you. And um, anyway, occasionally they'll pop up. And I watched this one. And right at the end of it came up something I haven't seen before that I just could not help but laugh at. And if anyone was uh, still thinking that CNN was presenting uh, newsworthy material or, uh, you know, anything that could be considered news um this this one might be the icing on the cake for you certainly was for me let's have a quick quick shall listen we? shall we uh, aaron your view of this you know when you see um entire media companies essentially exist to tear down joe biden is there an equivalent to that on the left tearing down trump uh, there, there really isn't. And, you know, what I would say, it, it, it's, a, it's really a diet of, of this type of information that a lot of these voters are getting. A lot of the voters that I talk to, I can, uh, you know, when I interview them, I do hear uh, them saying a lot of the talking points that sound very familiar from, from some of these shows, which I try to listen to when I'm out on the campaign trail or when I'm yeah. at home, uh, you know, watching TV. You know, you can, you can hear these, uh, these comments being echoed. Uh, by, by voters, and you know that this is the diet that they're on, uh, you know, AM radio, uh, you know, concern. Okay. Okay. I'll stop her there because she's just rambling. Uh, but <sighs> there's no media trying to talk down Donald Trump. Really? CNN? Um, so I thought, let's have a quick squiz, shall we? Oh, look. CNN politics, which, by the way, I just did a quick Google search and all I did was uh, type up anti-Trump um, groups. And what I got was this group, anti-Trump Republican group. They, they are absolutely flooding the anti-Trump uh, search at the moment. So I actually had to exclude the word Republican from my search in order to find others. But then I thought, well, seeing as we're looking at CNN and their hypocrisy here, let's have a look at just how much CNN might be playing this game. So I went to CNN politics. Now, if we can get anything to work on this computer at the moment, it seems to be running a bit slow. Uh, but here we go. Uh, we're, we're praising uh, Kamalia Harris. Oh, look, she's she's an Indian. Uh, she's brilliant. Balance. Oh, she's... Jeez. And then, of course, we've got a lot of anti-Trump stuff buried in here. There was there was no trouble looking at this and seeing a bias. And CNN are the ones telling us that there are no media which have an anti-Trump bias. But something in here really struck me. I'm moving away from that because I think the original claim was so fucking stupid it was ridiculous on CNN who we know have an anti-Trump bias. But here, here, over here was this link, and I thought, shit, I've got to look at this. Uh, by the way, I, I have other anti-Trump um, platforms being promoted by groups and by media. It, it wasn't hard to find this stuff. But this story on CNN just fucking data added to my reasons for making this video. Sheila Jackson Lee, Kamalia has now taken us uh, to the mountaintop Martin Luther King Jr. preached about. So let's see, shall we? Let's see if someone might have commented on uh, 
the gab dissenter by the way still using the gabs if anyone's not using gab uh get yourself on gab uh get yourself the uh, the dissenter and oh, did i say my computer was running slow i think i'm i'm doing something else with the computer at the moment it's dragging down anyway the comment i'm looking for is my one <laughs> boy i have dissented this and yes, I pointed out that this woman has clearly forgotten that there was a black American president, or just totally missed it. She just totally missed that there was a black American president for two terms. Um, apparently, a senile old wealthy white guy uh, dragging a unpopular uh, presidential runner-up, uh, someone who ran against him for the position of, you know, whatever in the fuck it is you yanks do over there. Uh, but yes, she wasn't particularly, um, Kamala wasn't particularly uh, of interest to anyone, but she's been dragged up now by the old senile white guy, and apparently that's what Martin Luther King preached about. <laughs> that's right, the black people being saved by the old senile white people. Um, I, I just wanted to point these absolutely fucking ridiculous news items and this is still cnn who made that original claim that there were no um media that were anti-trump how much more ridiculously uh, and by the way apparently written this this cover was covered by a fucking black guy couldn't he see the hypocrisy of this? <laughs> couldn't he see how ridiculous this was uh, i i don't get this shit these people fucking confuse the fuck out of me. Oh. Anyway, I just wanted to point that out because I thought this was fucking hilarious. There's no media that is anti-Trump. <laughs> None at all. None anywhere. No groups, no money, no nothing. I mean, uh, I did find the uh, Democrats launching a $10 million campaign in three, king, uh, three key swing states against Trump. But, you know, that, that's fair. This is electro This is politics. I mean, $10 million worth of politics is some serious politics. But, you know, it wasn't hard to find papers willing to run stories like this crap. I mean, this if you got rid of this and you put any symbol from the Roman Empire in it, and it would be the same symbol. Uh, this is not a dedicated Nazi propaganda, but, you know, this is the way it gets reported. The Ben the Ark, uh, Jewish action, I don't know who the fuck they are. They sound ridiculous. But anyway, um, I just wanted to follow this up. That's it. If, if CNN is not an example of one of the premier uh, media companies who are exceedingly anti-Trump, telling you that there are no anti-Trump media, therefore essentially telling you how fucking bullshit they are, I don't know what is. I just don't know. These days nothing seems to be right everything's fucking backwards hey 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 i'm going i'm gonna leave it I, I, i'm just gonna talk shit if i keep talking about this because it's shit i'm talking about i've had enough and that's it i've had enough i'm going i do not want to do this anymore i've had enough of this i'm out of here i've been the anti-theocrat may your gods remain fictional and i will see you in the next one until then have fun.